Hey guys, today I am going to be sharing with you a comparison video on the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer versus the Benefit Hula. So, I'm sure you guys have heard a lot of stuff about both of these. The Hula has been around for a while, has been hyped about a lot. And recently, the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer came out, well not really recently, but it hasn't been out as long as the Hula that I don't but it has been around for a while and it has been hyped a lot at the drugstore. And you hear multiple comparisons of it, like you hear like, oh, this is comparison to the Hula. Well, today I'm actually going to share with you a review and I'm also going to demo the product side by side. So let's hop right into the demo of it first and I will tell you which side, this side's the Physician Formula, this side's the Hula. You can see me applying, oh, applying? <laughs> you can see me applying the product and then also kind of sharing with you a few thoughts as I'm I applying. I am going to demo these two products. I do have a little bit on and I have the highlighter on and stuff from this morning. This is, I'm just filming this later in the day and I have highlighter like too far. Um, but I'm gonna do this side with the butter bronzer and this side with the hula. I do have the butter bronzer in the full, a full size, but the hula I have a mini um, right now. I think I'm gonna get the full size though. So literally I'm just going to carve out the hollows of my cheeks. warm toned bronzers I do have to say that so they're not gonna be like your cool ashy and I would rather kind of bronze more with a little more warm tone and then contour with a more cool tone I'm gonna be doing it on this side so you can definitely already tell a difference like what bronze does what it's compared to what it doesn't this hula is definitely a lot more pigmented and easier to mess up with or like to get too heavy-handed really quick so that's one thing you want to be concerned about Don't have to use as much or build it up as much. Really don't think there's that big of a difference. I mean, I feel like the Hula is definitely even warmer. A little more orange toned. But it does give you like a natural look. Like this is one of my favorite high-end bronzers. This is the side with the... Physicians Formula, and this is the side with the Hula. Obviously, you are going to definitely have to build this side up a little bit more with the Physicians Formula to get the amount that you need would need to compare to the Hula. Even looking straight on, they look pretty much the exact same, and I really don't see a difference. Benefit Hula is on the bottom, and the Physicians Formula is on the top. Clearly, this one's a lot more pigmented and more orange toned. This one is a little bit lighter, has a little bit more of kind of like a sheen to it and is not as well, I guess you can tell and I mentioned I do have a sample of the hula I would like to get the full size I feel like it would just be easier to have this is good for traveling and it is nice to start out for me to try um, but and then also this is a full size of the physician's formula butter bronzer the physician's formula butter bronzer costs $14.99 and these are going to be both Ulta prices here in the US and there's 0.38 ounces in this and the Hula bronzer is $30 and there's 0.28 ounces in the full size. So you are getting more of the Physicians Formula for half the price, like exactly half the price. So clearly the Physicians Formula is a better deal doubling. You could get like two of these for the price of one benefit Hula. And so that's kind of the price comparison. The packaging is a lot more sleeker with the Hula. I like it better. This is clunky. I dropped mine so the thing is not clicking anymore. It's kind of frustrating. You can flip it back like this for this extra, like there's a mirror which is nice. The, does, anyone, does the Hula have a mirror? Oh yeah, the Hula does have a mirror. Eh, didn't even know that. Well, the Hula does have a little mini mirror but this is a mini size. And this one does have a mirror as well and it comes with a sponge thing. I don't know. I don't know how that sponge works, so we're just not going to touch it. So this package is a little more clunky. Um, overall, what I kind of shared with you when I was demoing, I think these are both really great products. Definitely, there is this difference. Obviously, the Physicians Formula 1 is not as pigmented. You're going to have to build it up a little bit more. But it is more natural, and I definitely like to wear that. I reach for that one more, especially on natural days. If I'm going to film, then I might go with more of the Hula because it's a little bit more intense, and I can just kind of... And with all these white lights, I get washed out, so having that little bit deeper of a bronzer helps, like, warm my face up a little bit, which is nice. But the 
Butter bronzer is nice for an everyday look where it's just you look a little bit bronze, but you're not like, holy cow, she just put a strip of orange on her face. Um, which not that's not like I'm saying that Hula does that, but just kind of as a comparison there. Um, so I feel like if you are a beginner and you're wanting a natural bronze look, go with the Physicians Formula one just because it is just so much, it's just a little bit easier to work with, a little more natural, less pigmented, so you can build it up. The Butter Bronzer, this one's in the shade Light. It does come in a medium shade as well. I don't see the mediums in store. I think you can only get them online from where I've seen. I'm sure other stores might have them, but like Target and stuff, I'm pretty sure they, well, maybe they do have mediums, but they're, the Light is usually which one you'll find in the store. It would be nice to pick up the medium because I feel like that would be more comparable to the Hula. And the Hula did just come out with a Hula Light, which I think would be too light for my skin tone, to be honest with you. So I don't think I'll be purchasing that, just because it'll be way too light for even me. So, just thought I would throw that out there. I hope this was very helpful for you guys. If it was, thumbs it up. And let me know in the comments if there's any other products that you want me to compare. I have this makeup that I am definitely willing to compare, so please let me know if you are wanting a comparison of anything else and I hope you'll subscribe to stick around click that little bell because sometimes YouTube won't notify when I upload if you want to see me upload and get notifications if not fine with me that's okay and I'll see you guys in my next video bye you guys